Hey guys, uh, welcome back and I'm so happy to have you here today for this new video and this week I want to talk about something that I've been very focused on which is basically uh, emotions and how to show love to our full spectrum of emotions and not just a small part of it. So basically, um, I have a, co a program coming up very soon that's basically going to be meant to both mentor and coach people around this uh, concept of loving your emotions, like the full spectrum. Um, but before that, I wanted to really give you some, start giving you some content, some free content that you can start playing with that will make a huge difference in your life. So listen up as we get to this topic of loving your emotions. Okay. So basically, the first thing that I want to talk to about today is um, the importance of both noticing and acknowledging our emotions and the full range of emotions. And what I mean by that is basically noticing is when you're bringing mindfulness to what's happening to you, when you're, you're pausing and you basically are able to name precisely what emotion you're feeling right now. So this is important because oftentimes we use words that are not necessarily accurate with how we are feeling and we tend to like brush it all under one category like, oh, I'm feeling frustrated or I'm feeling uh, stressed or I'm feeling, I'm feeling mad, you know, and these are a good start. However, um, when you start really taking notice and being able to name an emotion in a precise way, you'll start seeing a difference in, in um, your ability to really uh, understand what's happening to you and understand yourself better. So for example, when people say that um, they're feeling frustrated, there's a lot that can be underneath of this. So for example, if you're frustrated because uh, your coworkers are not um doing what you, you're telling them to do or not doing what they promised they would do it could be something like well i'm not only feeling frustrated i'm feeling misunderstood maybe or i'm feeling angry or i'm feeling um i'm feeling tired i'm feeling used right so like different types of emotions that can come into this overall arch of like feeling frustrated right and oftentimes too like frustration comes us keeping all of this stuff bottled in in our inside our body and not really taking the time to notice it acknowledge it and then like keep it going with the motion that i'm going to talk about in another episode so um so that's the first step really what i want to challenge you to do is next time you're feeling something come up take maybe one minute and name it Give it a name. I am feeling this. When this happened today, I felt disappointed, right? That can be one. Or I felt really sad and hurt. Naming it is such a big step and you will see like the difference between like putting like overall like overarching big emotional themes that we tend to do in our lives like i'm feeling stressed i'm feeling this i'm feeling that and really getting more precise into what you're feeling will make such a big difference because you'll notice kind of like the contrast in between different situations and then be able to have better self-awareness and self-awareness and mindfulness about what you're feeling precisely and then the second thing that you need to do is acknowledging it so first you're noticing like oh there is something happening right now i don't really know like what it is so I'm gonna name it right naming it precisely and it can be a mix of different emotions and then you're gonna acknowledge it meaning you're going to take this emotion own it like it's yours because it is yours and that means basically that you're going to to really take a sit and be like giving yourself the permission and the space to really feel and and accept that you're feeling a certain way. Because so often we, I'm saying we notice that because I'm part of this. We um, tend to reject or ignore or put to the side our emotions because so many reasons, right? It can be because we're in a setting and we don't want people to know that 
we're feeling a certain way or um, we are on a really important mission and we really need to get things done so we think we have to like put our emotions aside and then keep moving on but that's a lie because as i stated in the previous video that you can check out here you'll notice that um when you ignore an emotion and you don't really acknowledge it as like being present and real you're accumulating energy inside of your body that eventually will start exploding because you only have so much space right uh, and some people like me can hold it for a really long time like 12 years from the age of six to the age of 19 i did not cry for example um but that that was in the past now I'm better, I'm better i love crying now um but anyways back to it so that's the problem when you don't acknowledge that you're feeling a certain way so what you want to do is really uh after you named the feeling right that's one step and then you want to acknowledge it like okay like this is anger i am feeling angry right now yes i'm feeling angry and it is what it is right so um once you've done that it's really awesome it's already a big step and you're giving yourself permission to be a human being and a feeling person like all the other humans that are surrounding you because oftentimes too we think that we're the only ones feeling a certain way meanwhile we have a bunch of human beings around us that are probably feeling a certain way too and are not expressing it because our society keeps pressing against us so now that you've done noticing so you're gonna name your feelings this week name them and then you're gonna acknowledge them like they are there and i'm gonna i'm not gonna pretend they're not there i'm gonna accept that they're there then you're gonna let yourself feel the emotions yes you're gonna let yourself feel and I know for myself and probably for you too, some emotions seem scary and we don't want to let ourselves feel them because maybe we think it's going to hurt, maybe it's going to be uncomfortable and it probably is. Like these are like some of these emotions are unpleasant emotions. Um, but I want to challenge you to give yourself permission to be a full human being, like be your full self. The human being that is capable of feeling the full spectrum of emotions and doesn't have to stick to a couple like joy or like happiness or like uh, satisfaction sometimes you feel like shit i am sorry i'm gonna say it and you need to give yourself permission to feel that and what i mean by feeling it it means continuing with that, that progress you notice something that's that's happening you named it and you acknowledge that it's there you're not this week you're not going to pretend that it's not there you're going to embrace it you're going to feel it you're going to own it no matter what's going on around you you're gonna give yourself the permission to be a perfectly imperfect human and a perfect human that is feeling different types of emotions so if something comes up for you this week where you're feeling frustrated or like you're you have a bit of fear going on and you have a bit of anxiety going on and or you're you're feeling hurt and disappointed i'm challenging you to not put it to the side and instead welcome it in and feel it give yourself i don't know Give yourself 10 minutes to feel it, to really, really feel it, and then let me know how it goes. I swear to you, already giving you yourself this kind of like space and permission to be yourself, your full spectrum of who you are, a feeling human being, it's going to change your life and it's going to make you feel like you're so much more in touch with your true self. Just trust me on this one. Give it a try. And then let me know on my Instagram or my YouTube page in the comments how it goes. And then next week, I'm going to bring you some more content, continuing the journey of what it means to love your emotion and give them some, give your emotions some space to keep moving through you so that they can then be released. So stay in touch. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know how it goes. I want to know how it goes. All right. Bye.